Kate Middleton was sweetly bashful with Prince William, as she attended a remembrance service with members of the royal family last night, a body language expert has said. The Princess of Wales, 41, paid a poignant tribute to the late Queen as she attended the Festival of Remembrance at London's Royal Albert Hall on Saturday night. The event saw an emotional King Charles unveil life-sized bronze statues of his late parents, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, commemorating their dedication to the Royal Albert Hall. Kate wore a pearl necklace and matching earrings that belonged to Her Majesty alongside a brooch of first, the Queen's Dragoon Guards, to which she was appointed Colonel-in-Chief in August. Judah James, a body language expert, told the Mirror that Kate appeared to be making a very important and powerful homage to the late Queen. She said, The pearls don't look like Kate's usual personal style, but they are the ones worn by the late Queen as a signature statement piece that is immediately associated with her. Hence James added that the mother of three was sweetly bashful, with her husband Prince William, 41, with the intense puckering around his mouth forming a suppressed and rather boyish smile, while Kate is almost hiding behind her newly layered hair. Kate was present alongside the King, Queen Camilla, the Prince of Wales, Princess Anne, and other members of the royal family, who all wore red poppies. The Princess of Wales looked elegant in a long black dress by Amelia Wickstead which she first wore at a reception for dignitaries attending the Queen's lying in state in 2022. Meanwhile, Prince William and the King wore navy suits adorned with medals. The Princess Royal gave a speech paying tribute to those who lost their lives in the Battle of the Atlantic, the longest military campaign of the Second World War, which saw around 65,000 seamen lose their lives. The Royals then watched a performance from the Band of the Royal Marines and joined the crowd to sing Dear Lord and Father of Mankind after the Remembrance Book, which contained the names of British war dead, was brought into the center of the hall. This was followed by a performance from 14-year-old opera sensation Malachi Bayo, who sang the Latin hymn Pi Jesu. The festival ended with the audience singing God, Save the King, followed by three cheers. There was a poignant moment in the night when King Charles unveiled life-sized bronze statues of his late parents, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. The statues, created by artist Poppy Field, complete the building by filling the niches of its north porch, which have been empty since 1871, and its south porch, added in 2003. Hosting the annual Royal British Legion event, Claire Balding said that servicemen and women who have lost their lives are kept alive with our words, our memories, our tributes. There were performances from British soul singer Micah Paris, pop star Callum Scott, Chelsea pensioner Colin Thackeray, and tenor Alfie Bow, who performed Bring Him Home.